As you look through the various object properties in WISE, you'll find common audio control features such as volume and filter controls, but you may be wondering where the pan control is. In WISE, panning is a function of the positioning system, which is approached in one of two ways. WISE can either pan sounds automatically based on the positional relationship of objects in the game, known as 3D spatialization with listener relative routing, or it offers a more conventional approach, allowing you to manually control a sound's pan position. This approach is known as speaker panning using balance fade. Speaker panning using balance fade can work well for sounds that aren't represented visually within the game, such as music or narration. It can also be used to position sounds that are represented visually in the game, but never change their relative location to the player's perspective. For example, in the cube demo game, each time the wizard throws a magical gem, there's an animation of the wizard quickly thrusting his staff backwards to his right side as he recharges it. We'll use balance fade speaker panning to position the sounds associated with the staff's recharge to their proper place in the sonic image. In this project, we can see that we have a single event representing when the magical gem is thrown. When the event is received, a gem blast is first heard, followed by the whoosh of the wizard's staff, and then a magical chime of a gem recharge sound. And you can even hear the sound of a gem falling on the ground and breaking apart. In the animation sequence, the player quickly moves his staff to the right to recharge the gem. Now let's play the magic and whoosh separately to make them easier to hear. You can see in the metering that these two sounds each play centered in the mix. Since the visual of the staff's movement appears to the player's right side, we'll use balance fade positioning to position these related sounds to the right side of the mix. Because the whoosh and magic sounds should come from the same position, we'll first place these two sounds in an actor mixer. Once in the actor mixer, we can then make the positional adjustment to that actor mixer and it will automatically be applied to the objects within. We'll first select the Magic and Woosh Sound SFX objects. Right click, choose New Parent, Actor Mixer. We'll rename the Actor Mixer Staff Recharge. Now we can make an adjustment to the Staff Recharge Actor Mixer, and any change that we make will automatically apply to the two child objects within, in this case, the Magic and Woosh. This approach ensures that the pan position of both of these sounds will be identical. With the Staff Recharge selected, go to the Actor Mixer Property Editor and click the Positioning tab. Notice that by default, 3D Spatialization is set to None, so WISE is not automatically determining pan position. Because the Speaker Panning property is set to Direct Assignment, this means that sounds play from the channels designated in the source audio file. Or in the case of these mono files, the sound plays from the center position. Change the speaker panning property to Balance Fade. Now you can click the Edit button just to the right and bring up something that looks more like a conventional surround sound panner. Now we can grab the control point and drag it to the right and play the whoosh again. We can see in the metering that the pan position has changed. This is a bit too much, so we'll bring it back closer to the center and forward just a bit. This feels better. Close the speaker panning window and select the magic sound. When we play it, we can see in the metering that it too has a pan position that is slightly to the right. That's it. The balance fade option for speaker panning is a very easy and simple system. To learn about how to use WISE to automatically make decisions about panning based on gameplay, be sure to see the videos on that topic.